But tonight, Scott Erickson made Twins history, throwing the first no-hitter in the history of the Metrodome and the first no-hitter in Twins history since 1967 as the Twins beat Milwaukee 6-0 before almost 18,000 fans here at the Metrodome. As far as the offensive highlights go for the Twins, Ken Herbert provided an early one with a home run to the opposite field over what used to be the plexiglass. This is the first time the Twins have taken advantage of the left field wall, Sands plexiglass. But it was all Scott Erickson who didn't feel good the first couple innings. He said, I was getting rocked all over the place, but his slider and his explosive fastball really had the Brewers handcuffed. Then in the ninth inning, Greg Vaughn at the plate, a one-two pitch. He just gets a hold of one. It looked like it may fall for a minute, but Alex Cole calls off Pat Mears at the last second and makes the catch, sending Scott Erickson into the arms of Ken Herbick and his Twins teammates, and the no-hitter is his. Erickson walked four, hit a batsman, but as the Twins fans celebrate in this pitch, Erickson's now two and three, and they had a chance to grab Scotty right after the game. Yeah, I was a little nervous. I was, I started thinking about it around the fifth inning, but you got a long way to go, and then you, it's hard to, you know, you never get a really chance at it, so, uh, so yeah. Is it the first chance you ever had to do something like this? Uh, basically, yeah. 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 Your teammates say to you? Congratulations. They're all, I think they're all pretty happy. The always low key. I thought this might be a long <coughs> night, and uh, it, you know, some guys made some good plays early on, and it seemed that a few balls were going at people, and I, I kind of lucked out, and then uh, you know, about six inning, the crowd started getting a little excited, and that's when I think it first hit that uh, you know I got a chance. Did you feel? If you're keeping score at home, his record now two and three.